ex-wife. That slut? My ex-wife. She only liked me because uh, of my uh, severe, uh, wicked, uh... Yeah. My, uh, wiffle ball skills. She was like, damn, bitch, that's some good wiffle ball. And I'm like, damn, bitch, that's some good head. So both ways, it was good stuff. But, uh, after I, like, started hitting it big with, like... She was like, shit, we're rich. And I'm like, yeah. And so... She started, like, sleeping around with, like, other guys and, like, other women and some animals. And I just, I just couldn't handle that anymore. I mean, I had all these groupies. They're like, yeah, go! And I was like, yeah. So I just started hitting 16, 18 of them per showing and got her divorced. And since then, my house is basically like a harem. Yeah, we're tight. You know what I mean? They're all visionaries. I mean, when I get there... I'm like rocking on my guitar, man. I'm like, and so, and then the other guys come in, shit, and it's just wild shit. And like, we're we're tight. We're we're like, we're like some wicked like. All right, like this one time, like, via bomb, man. We were like driving in our limo in our car, and we like, dude, park right over there. And so we sat parking, and I like got improv. I jumped through the freaking like. Uh, sunroof, and I pull up my guitar, and I didn't have an amp on, so I was just like, rrr, 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 but I thought I was like, rrr, 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 and like nothing happened, and then like these groupies came, and they're like, shit, man, you're really rocking out, and then when we got the drums going on, it was like beating the shit out of things, it was awesome. You know, uh, we're usually the headliners. Some band played after us, but you know, I didn't care about them. You know, I've been selling out forever. Our, our first bar was sold out. You no, know, packed full. All like six of them a night. That sold out. But it was good. You no. Know, they throw beer bottles every once in a while. But th that's why the cage is there. I got named Viet Bong from, uh, I, I, I thought Viet referred to the, the Japanese, where I want to go, but uh, someone told me recently that it refers to the Vietnamese, and uh, yeah, it's kind of too late to change that now, so it's, it's just who I am. I, I, I can't change that. I'm Viet Bong. Well, my name, One Dollars, came upon, uh, I used to be good friends with this guy in the same fitty saint or something, and we used to be tight, really tight, like, you know, like, I didn't know she was, and, well, he betrayed my bike, and he got into the recording industry, and he called himself 50 Saint. I was very annoyed with that. So when these two people come to California and they pick me up to play bass, I, I exact revenge on, on him. One dollar, live forever. Well, you might say, that is a fine bass. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> well, my favorite memory from the bank happens to be when they gave me my money. I got to put a six foot aluminum wing on my CV. It's, it's the most wonderful piece of work ever. Well, first album. That was something that I will never forget. <laughs> I do not recall the first album. Well, the brownies fundraiser. I had fun with those brownies. Yes, they make good cookies. Good cookies.